Okay, it's working. Uh, my name is Paul Joachim. Uh, I'm the guy who usually films. Uh, so basically, when when there's someone up here speaking, it's nice that they have a little bit louder voice. I put the camera a bit closer. That's going to help. I'm going to talk about uh, duplicator, uh, backup, copy, clone. That's what basically what it does. Uh, I use it a lot, and so much that I've been helping the helping the developer of Duplicator test it out uh, along the way. So uh, it is a very good backup uh, software. It will pack up your full site. So what I'm thinking now that uh, if there's someone out here who hasn't backed up their site in a while and don't have too many images, do you want to back it up right now? Okay. Is there anybody who wants to back up the site right now? Okay. Do you, want to, do you want to log into the site and we'll install Duplicator and we'll take uh, we'll download Duplicator and we'll put it on another domain. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not the finished site. So I... It doesn't matter. The point is that basically any site, we can back it up, download it to your desktop. I can put it into MAMP if I want to or I can put it on another domain. So my plan now is either taking one of my just local sites or taking one of your sites Logging in, installing Duplicator, backing up the whole site, and I'm, what I'm saying, I'm downloading it to my site, and I'm going to put it on my, one of my domains. I'm just going to copy one of your sites. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, who wants to do that? Of course, I'll delete it afterward. <laughs> Is there anybody who wants to back it up so we can try it out like that? Or should I just, I can use one of my local uh, sites. I have a question. Okay. So I've built mine through dot .com, not dot .org. WordPress.com? Yeah. Okay. So that's, do you, have, you don't have to do the backups? Uh, different rules. Yeah. It's totally different rules. Uh, the, the, when you download the WordPress from WordPress.org, you will have a self-hosted website. WordPress.com, you will make a site, uh, your name, dot WordPress.com, or buy your own domain through WordPress.com. And that's kind of like, as I said, there are different rules there. There aren't that many plugins, and you have to pay for uh, for editing CSS and different things like that. Okay, so since we're here in Norway, I didn't really expect much of a response. <laughs> uh, I live in the U.S., so yeah, I know the contrast. You can have one of my my personal sites. Okay, come on over and then log into your site. <laughs> And I have no idea if it's going to work. Most likely it will, but we'll find out. So what I can do, I can probably just tell him how to uh, do this first part then. Okay, do you want to continue? And I'll just... Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, okay. okay. So the, right now, site's mine, okay. Yeah. So let's go to uh, plugins and install duplicator. So this is more fun. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but this is more fun. Let's say duplicator. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so you already installed it. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll just go to uh, <laughs> duplicate it right here. It's just normal process. Install it, and then duplicate will show up over here. Go to packages. So here's another fan of duplicator. Then. Okay, so here he already has created a site. I'm gonna do this like that instead. So basically, this will be empty. And you would click the icon right here, and that will create a zip package of the WordPress install, of the theme uh, you've installed, of your plugins, all the content will be packed into a zip file. So right now, I'm going to download the installer. And the package. 
And it's a pretty fast net here, so it just takes a few more ones. Let's see, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and there it is. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to steal a site. I'm opening up a FTP program called Forklift. So, I'm going to go into uh, Bluehost, where I have lots of domains. And I know that for the moment, uh, Sunray Creation Domain is empty. So, I'm going to upload the installer and the zip package. Uh, can I stop you? Sure. Should, do we have to go buy uh, some FTP other thing or can we just uh, sort of just keep using Whatever we use for WordPress uh, as a like, um, panel and upload it to uh, else. So we need an FTP. Because right now I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new install of WordPress on a new domain. So I need some way to get it up to that domain. Right, so because so, there's nothing there right now. Okay. So that means I'm gonna have to use FTP or something else I don't know about. Uh, but, but if you if you're uh, if you're hosting. Was like if if you had cPanel on uh, on uh, on your server, mm -hmm. yeah, you could use cPanel to upload yeah, things. Yeah, you use yeah. cPanel as well. Just copy the files over. Uh, yeah, I can log into. I in my web tabs I already logged into cPanel, but so so through cPanel you can also use the file manager in cPanel. But I I like using this uh, forklift program, so I'm going to do that that way. So here's the package. Uh, let's see. Package right here. So right now it's just I just dragged it from my Ned Lustings Mappa and put it right into to my summary creation domain. Yeah, I am in Norwegian here somewhere. Obviously, it's great. I lived too long in Norway. I want to go back to you see. Uh, okay, this is going up there. So I'm looking for the installer as well. It's somewhere in here. Let's see. I need to rename this to the regular name as well. Uh, okay, so it's going to take uh, a few, maybe a minute or so. And I'm going to in upload and the installer file here as well. So to keep asking the same question, as long as whatever way I like, I need to have the install file and the package. Yeah, file. because you need yeah. the zip package <coughs> and then the installer PHP. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it says one there is that I already have yeah. an installer in the net nothing. So, so yeah, I just really need to remove this part right here. But so in any way you'd like, you just need to get those two up. Those two files. Mm -hmm. uh, the pack, uh, package and then installer. Get that on whatever domain. You can also, if you may, if you're in MAMP or uh, doing some uh, local development, and you want to update your site with a really new uh, update, you can make modifications uh, locally, and you can upload it to the overshot or, or just kind of overwrite what's there already. Right now, the developer is working on multi-site. Uh, I've been posting a lot of different places here and there, uh, asking people to help him with multi-sites. And he basically has very little knowledge of multi-sites. Uh, so he's getting some help with that. And hopefully, within a month or so, we'll have uh, this in. Well, that. Thank you. Uh, I forgot to do that this time. Uh, within a month or so, he should hopefully have this also for multi-site. Right now it's just for regular single sites.
You know what happens if you use it with multi-set? It doesn't work. <laughs> I tried. It doesn't just back up the entire network in one bit. Uh, I, I tried somewhat and um, I had to manually download the, the package because it didn't really work. And I got some other errors along the way. So, But try it out. Give him some tips. He needs advice how to fix it. Because this program kind of <clears throat> goes through the files and the database and changes some data, yeah? Uh, it basically just takes all of it and packs it up. It doesn't change anything. Yeah, but one, one of the challenges with moving one site to another place might be that there's some hard-coded uh, yeah, URLs. File names. Uh, yeah, as one posted also on the discussion forum about this. Uh, oh, that yeah, and I answered it too. Uh, earlier versions you had problems with that because I have a theme, and in that theme there's a, uh, a panel where you can upload the, the header and stuff like that. I had problems with that earlier, but he fixed that, so it should work. Did it work for you? I didn't try it uh, yet. Okay. I again we're trying it now. I'm gonna try it tomorrow because yes. I have some. Issues. Okay. So we have installer in place. Okay, done with FTP. So let's see, it was uh, Sunwin uh, creation and then uh, forward slash installer that PHP. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Right now, I need to create the database. So, I already logged into my Bluehost panel. I'm going to scroll down to, let's see, it is MySQL databases. Blue in one, I'm going to call it delete, delete. <laughs> so, I know what I'm going to do with this when I'm done here today. Okay, so we created the database. So blue one uh, delete, and there it is. Okay, I have the first part. And database name. Okay, we got that in there. And then we need a user. Um, I guess I can probably call this delete as well. Okay, delete one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and dot. Will this work? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, dot. Create user. Okay, so we have this right here as the user. Here is the user. And then we have, okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're not entirely finished yet. Watch out, you might get an extra dot. Uh, yep. And thank you. Okay, so we need to associate the user with, we need to associate delete one with delete. So we have the delete database and has no user right now. So, user delete one, I already have a delete from earlier, I guess, it looks like. Database delete, add, and then all privileges, and then make changes. Okay, we got everything in place. The, we have delete database and we have the user one delete is associated with the database. There is zero in it right now. Okay, WordPress duplicator. We have a blue one, uh, win one, delete one. We have password. We have a database name. Okay, and then we just test it. It's working, so that's a good signal. So there are different kind of, it just says disclaimer, if you screw up your site, it's your fault, not my fault. Basically what disclaimers are. 
You're responsible for it? Oh. Or I am? Okay. So it just takes a few moments. Okay, I'll create a new admin account. Uh, let's see, uh, your Kim, your Kim, and one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter. I'll take whatever I want, but uh, this is where I remember. One, two, three, four, five, one. And to take fun button. Okay, run updates. Okay, so I'll just. You can go to whatever here, test the site or resave permalinks um, or just, I'll just, it doesn't really matter which one I'm going to. So, you walk in, one, two, three, four, five, dot, and then log in. Okay, okay, that's fine right there. So, it looks like it's working. Let's try it out from the front end. So, Thomas, you just have a new website. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to try out something to see if it works or not. Okay, images are coming up. Nice. <laughs> Okay, it's working okay? Okay, mm. yeah? good. Yeah. So now you can see that duplicator is working. Now, your turn next time, huh? Do it at home later. Yeah. So, this is an easy way to uh, copy a site. I just took the whole site. And now I, just, I stole a site and put it on somebody's creation. So now I just got to remember to delete it. Yeah. If I don't delete it, he'll send me a message. <clears throat> you need to delete that one site. You forgot it. So, uh, I use Duplicator a lot. Um, basically, I'll make, make a site through MAM or desktop server or anything like that, others like that locally. Make the site, install Duplicator, pack up the whole site, and just uh, either through cPanel or something else, FT I use FTP, upload it to your domain. And suddenly, bang, you have a site right there. So if I wanted to make uh, a major uh, change to Thomas' site uh, I have here, I would just uh, install it locally, make the changes, see if everything works, zip it up, install it here, and overwrite what's there. So it's a good way of just uh, making mo major modifications. Instead of putting your site uh, under maintenance, just develop it locally and just upload the new site. Uh, it says that you're going to have to make some modifications to VP config, but just follow what it says, and it's fairly easy to do that. So, so now you know a little bit about Duplicator. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, there are, of course, other backup solutions as well. So, okay, yeah. Um, you have to create uh, an, an admin user. Yes. That was optional, um, or, or you have to? Don't remember. I I, so I make the it. admin user that the site had before will work. All the users that the site yeah, had yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's say I have a local user, you are okay and two three feet from uh, and that. I would just use the same information. I don't have to make a new user. I can just fill the existing information. Oh, so the admin user was for what? For the WordPress, right? Right. For logging into WordPress. For logging into WordPress, but the site that you packed already mm -hmm. had an admin user. Yeah, and so basically, what you do is optional, right? to have if I knew his information, I could just could fill that in. So you, you just overwrite it? Yeah, I, or, I, I overwrote his information. Exactly. Uh, can, can you actually recreate the site with the same admin uh, just by... Yes. If the yeah. step is optional, yes. then... It's the optional. Is. Basically, you, uh, I don't remember if you have to fill it out or not, but if you want to keep it as the same, you can do that. Yeah, you just create a new user that... Yeah, you can use the same user as you have on the original site. 
Uh, right. In case you, you would just fill it in. Just fill in the same information you have. But you can't recreate without filling in any information. Um, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now you used it actually for moving sites. Uh, but uh, how about using it as a backup feature? Um, See, I, I backed up Thomas's site right now. See? Yeah, I but, but, but I was backup. thinking about scheduling, um, okay. moving the files to Dropbox, Google Docs, Docs Amazon, things yeah. like that. Is that included? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a one-person job, kind of like one-person circus. Uh, so he spends whatever free time he has on the plugin. Uh, so he hasn't come. He wants to have a, kind of like a scheduling drop Dropbox. I mentioned it for him, but he doesn't have time. Yeah. So he kind of figured out should I do Dropbox before multi-site? He has a yes do or do multi-site first. And whenever you have the time, do Dropbox and like backup buddy has. A, uh, you can you can schedule when you want to backup. You can't do that with the duplicator. Yeah. Uh, Duplicator is kind of like a simple uh, plugin that it, it takes a while for him to make major new things because it's he's doing it by himself. I think you had a question too. Yeah, I'll uh, get to you in a moment. If you now um, make some changes to this uh, backup you have installed here yeah. uh, and re-upload it to the original site, will it replace everything? Yes. So if you want to, uh, if I wanted to make uh, major changes to the site, I can do so locally on my own computer. And I will just make a new uh, package in Duplicator and upload it. And we'll say that th we already have a site here. Do you want to overwrite it? And I will say yes to that. But will it delete everything and then upload again? Or will it just replace the files that are on the site? It will just replace the whole the site. So the, the new package that it comes up is unpacked. It will just come on top of everything else. But if he, in the meantime, uploads a picture to the original site or something, and you will now upload this again? Uh, delete that picture? If he works on the site and I'm trying to uh, put something new on there, yeah, I'll probably screw up whatever he does. Whatever he does. So that's why if there's a team working on this, you have to really talk together and say, okay, we're, gonna, uh, we're working locally here. We'll do everything locally. He'll add his picture locally, send it through mail to me or something like that. I would just put it in my uh, local uh, site and I'll just pack it together. Okay, it's ready. The team is ready now to present the new site which is on my computer, or just put in Dropbox, other can do, do so as well. Whoever has the newest version will upload it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so technically the plugin deletes the WordPress installation and then uploads a new one. Yes. So you have to be careful to use it if you also, or say, if, you have, if you're working with a team, you can always talk together, but if you have the visitors posting comments and things like that, they will also be lost. So uh, if you're yeah. using it as you suggest uh, for a local to kind of uh, deal with the local uh, development environment, uh, you have to make sure that you don't lose any content. And maybe just put it into maintenance mode or something like that. In a few, uh, if it takes 10, 15 minutes, or if you do it at a certain time when you know there's it's quiet on the site. Uh, if you have a really busy site, put it on maintenance mode during that uh, period of time, so no one can do anything with it, and then just put the new site in there. Yeah. Actually, it's not a big uh, problem unless uh, users upload uh, images or files. Because right. if you create a database dump before you, so we can replace the database for all comments and stuff is in the database. Right. So the files will be lost if you have new plugins or search inside it. But that's not a problem. Plugins is. Yeah. Yeah. It might drop the tables. Uh, it will. In, so, in the beginning, it, there was so then you actually and, need to to take the existing tables and to kind of merge the existing data into the file you are uh, the database you're gonna. Yeah. That's uh, like tweaking. In the beginning here, when I uh, the first screen that came up, there was a check mark for drop tables. If I don't click in drop tables, it can say the table exists already. Uh, and I'm going to have to click the drop tables because I'm putting on top of another site or replacing it. But it will, it is easy enough to follow along the instructions. Can you, can you make a job on the server to run the plugin automatically? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, does it perform a final replace on all the posts? Because 
uh, in WordPress, uh, if you do um, if you post a picture on a post or a page, whatever, mm -hmm. it actually includes the whole link with the domain name as well. Mm -hmm. uh, does it perform or find a place if you have two different domains? Okay, uh, so I think, as I understand your question, is that for instance, uh, in my, I use Themeify, and in their framework, in the back end, I uploaded a header file. So it had the absolute URL, www, and then the name, that forward slash uploads, whatever. In earlier versions, I had got no image when I uploaded a duplicator. But it will take care of the absolute URLs, which are called. Yeah. Uh, so basically, whatever images have the absolute, where it says www, the domain name, then the uploads, and then the image, it will take care of it. That so, includes posts as well. Uh, yes. It should include anything, basically. Cool. That is the absolute URL. How does so, it know it's a URL for your site and not something else you have code written in? I mean, you might have. You have links to other sites. How does it know? Uh, I'm not. I'm not really getting uh, the question. I'm just wondering how program knows that the link to that image actually is for your site, and, and how does it? How does it? Uh... I, I, I don't know how it, how it knows. It's just that when it takes it, when you have images with the absolute URL. Yeah, but it's, uh, if you it's have gonna a, automatically convert uh, it. Like you use, I don't know, just an example. Like you use an image that's actually on some other site. That's not it, problem. It's not copied. Yeah. Right? But why the, does it change that URL as well? How does it? Uh... You know, it, it will just look for the domain. If you're going from one domain, it will just look for changes to the domain that you have on your own domain that you're using at that moment. Okay. okay so so absolute URL nice. is just for your own domain. Okay. For other domains linking to other sites, it will just keep that in place. It's yeah, basically it just for where you're coming from. So uh, it was a problem in earlier versions, but uh, he fixed it. So. So. Do you know if there are any plans to make it automatically backup uh, files? If you want to have, uh, he's open for help. Uh, as I said, he's developing by himself. I'm not a developer, I'm more of a designer. I can test out things, that's why I'm on the list too, uh, helping out with him. Uh, if you want to, uh, basically, you can send him an email and just ask what kind of plans he has. And it's if you're a developer, GitHub. what? It's on GitHub. So, just it. so basically, help him. He needs developer help. He needs help from anybody, basically. If you want, if you really like the plugin and you want features that are not there today, you can suggest it for him and say, I don't have time to do that. And I'll say, well, can I help you? Can I help you with some code? And See what it says? Basic multi-site revisions, Dropbox, whatever. If you're, uh, if you're a developer or if you want to help out, you're welcome to do so. So if you want, uh, just contact them. So what are the biggest uh, alternatives? Um, there, I, I remember a couple of times ago, I said that there's a, uh, there are a lot of alternatives out there. Uh, one is backup for Dropbox, for instance, that's also free. Uh, the thing I like this is that they're, they're all they're similar too. Uh, I don't really know that much about what alternatives are out there. Basically, uh, I would probably just write duplicate alternative uh, WordPress plugin and just kind of see what comes up. Just search for different backup solutions that are out there because there are a lot more now than was a year ago, for instance. So there are a lot of different alternatives. I haven't really looked into it so much lately. Why do you like this one? Uh, because I remember, I think one and a half a year ago, I was frustrated making a site in NAMP and trying to get that site online. Uh, basically, I have to kind of, uh, there had to do a database. There was some, just a lot of work to get a site from your local environment on your own computer, get it online. And when I found Duplex, I said, oh yes, it's finally here. I can get it easily online, and that was why I liked it. So that's why I've been following along and trying to help them to get it to work better as well. So that, that's why I used it. But that was probably one and a half a year ago. I've been kind of continuing with the duplicator, and there might be better alternatives. So that means when you, when you find other alternatives that are similar to duplicator, what about just posting it on the, the Word, Word Meetup forum or something like that, discussion board? Yeah. There is one very useful one called BackMeetUp, and that does uh, automatic uh, backups. 
send it to Dropbox and all your, all your files and your database. And you can schedule yeah. whenever, as often you want. So back uh, VP up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So there are alternatives to duplicate again, as I said, he's kind of, he's doing it by himself. So it just takes a while for him to, uh, to modify and update his plugin. So that means there will be other who will make better plugins out there as well. So there, there are probably other alternatives. And as I said, just uh, post on the discussion board. Okay, any other comments? Okay, I think that's it then. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the site then. I think I'll just do that right now. To, he advises also to delete the installer files because they can become a security risk. And that was on what I said on the panel right before I entered the site to delete the installer files. So be sure to do that as well. Does that follow this is WP snapshots? Is that where the plugin stores the backup? Say again? This is WP snapshots. Is that where it stores the backup? Yes. You might want so, to tell them to move that into the uploads folder because a lot of people will have their their server set up not to allow files to be stored by default anywhere else. Okay, so I should tell the using, developers. Yeah, using the uploads folder is usually best because that's guaranteed to be accessible. Okay, so I should just basically tell the, the developer to put the VP snapshots into uploads folder because that's uh, I don't like Less of security risk, I guess, and no, there's not a security problem. It's just that if the server is set up only to allow files to be placed in the okay, I understand. Okay, so a rights problem. Yeah, right. So Permission. the rights, so yeah. rights just to be the uh, content or uploads folder. Okay, great. I'll let him know. Then. So Thomas, just post your site on the forum too, so people can look at it. Okay, bye bye Thomas. Okay. Okay, there is pizza. Yep. So I guess that was your old paper. <laughs> pizza and very beer. Yeah. Thank you, Paul.